When it comes to setbacks, it's very easy for you to sit there and say, Nathaniel, I have a whole bunch of set setbacks and there's nothing positive in a setback. If I'm drawn behind, if I go behind, then it is a negative thing. And I would have agreed with you before I got this spiritual download, because mind you, my ears was ringing. So I knew that something was coming. And when I randomly jogged in the afternoon uh, or in the morning, boom, came to me. And it's one of my favorite analogies. And it's linked to setbacks. So I, like many of you, have gone through tremendous setbacks. And like you, I set ideas of where I want to be at certain um, points in my life. And I just realized, you know, never did I ever hit those points. And I was always kept behind compared to others. And I did that naturally. I looked at others and I said, I should have been there. I wanted to be there. I'm still not there. And I felt like I was being kept back. But they told me, my dear son, my dear son, you have a, the wrong perception of setbacks. Yes, you are behind. And yes, we did pull you behind. But it's not because you don't have the potential. It's because you don't realize your potential. And whatever you think you're supposed to be successful in progressing in, that's not where you should be. So what we did, we picked you up like an arrow. And we used a bow and arrow, which is life circumstance, the universe, and we pulled you back, my dear son. We pulled you back. So yes, you did feel like you were going behind. Whilst everybody else was going forward, you were behind because we pushed you behind. But we did that for a reason. You had unsolved issues. You had trauma. You had family issues, you had your personal issues, psychological, emotional, spiritual issues, but you needed to go back. And by being drawn backwards, you had no idea that we were pulling so strongly to let you go. And when you let go, you will be flying past everyone. You will fly beyond what you think is your potential. We see who you are because we created you. So how dare you think there's a limit to what you are? We shot you beyond that. And it makes perfect sense because that's exactly what happened to me. At the point of lockdown, I was a comedian or am a comedian. I didn't have a single cent in my bank account. Every single gig that was prepared and I, I auditioned for and I got, whether it was a corporate comedy gig, gig whether it was um, a, a ad, all got cancelled. I have bills to pay. I have a car to pay. I literally played in my head that I'm going to lose everything. I applied for jobs. I have a degree in strategic communication, four years working experience. Nothing came. They drew me back. I didn't know it, but they were drawing me back. In that time that I felt like nothing was making sense and I was behind and everyone was going forward, I unconsciously started work. Started loving myself, started connecting with my spirit guides, started connecting with myself, started learning the ability that I was given, this natural ability that I was given as an empath, understanding that there's so much unlocked. I started working through past relationship issues. I unlocked and released all things that I thought I controlled. And I was being pulled back in those moments. So yes, I had lows. I had sadness. I had doubt. But I was being pulled back. And when I finally got released, when I did the work, I propelled way beyond what I thought I'd ever achieve. I'm, I have financial, spiritual, and emotional respite. I literally am an arrow shooting beyond what I thought I could do, way beyond. And now I'm at a point where I'm still flying through the air. But I'm going beyond what I ever could have imagined. And that is a beautiful place because I'm going beyond the limitations of my mind and what I created due to societal constructs. I'm beyond that now. And they told me, it's because you were the arrow, my dear son. And we had to pull you back. We had to get you to a point where you dealt with everything from ground zero. Because this was your ground zero, but you didn't know or realize that 
at ground zero, when we let you go, you were going to fly. I have way more than any career or job could have ever given me. I have achieved way more by going backwards than pretending like I am forward in life. So the next time you sit back and you sulk and you say, I'm behind, I'm behind, realize what is actually happening. And only once you accept to be drawn back, will they release you. And just like me, you will propel through everything you thought you could achieve and realize you going into a space where no one else is. And it's just you, spirit, and the man above. And when you're there, Oh, you won't find many people there, but you will find comfort. You will find calm. You will find love. You will find peace. And like all those things I just mentioned, I hope you find this video and make sense of what you are going through. And do not think that going backwards is a bad thing. Apply the bow and arrow analogy to your life. And who knows? You might be sharing that beautiful story of you propelling forward one of these days.